Hi guys, here we are, and back in Ghostbusters, we're going to start a new career, because this is how the game starts. We'll start with off with an intro sequence, and then I assume straight into the game, because I've played before, so I know what's going on. There we go, we're going to move experienced, and here's the intro. Catch you guys in a bit. Are you troubled by strange noises in the night? You experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic. Have you or your family actually seen a spook? Spectre or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Just pick up the phone and call the professionals. Call the Ghostbusters. We're, We're ready, ready to, to believe, believe you. you. Franchise is available soon. Call for details. Whoa! Russell, hey man. You near the East Wing? Yep. But by the new ghost or exhibit? Yeah, why? There's something headed your way. Wait. I hear something. I'm gonna take a look. Want to hear something really creepy? I was reading about Shandor, you know, the guy who donated most of the Gozer stuff. He was into the occult, you know, supernatural. Weird dude. <laughs> uh, well, why don't we talk about it some other time? Any other time. <laughs> hey, you can't be in here. Stop! <laughs> Ghostbusters, is your haunting an apparition, poltergeist, phantasm, wraith, banshee, demon, specter, tortured, solar? What? No, we do not summon dead family members and catch them so you can ask the combination to the safe. Yeah, well, same to you, pal. This is an old game, so the loading screens do take quite a bit of time. If I remember rightly, you start off in the firehouse as the new rookie. And, you know, you get to explore a bit and, uh, you know, check it out. I only played, say, two levels in last time I played it, before getting sidetracked with uh, World of Warcraft. So, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes today. Hey, it's the new cadet. Welcome aboard. This might be a little dangerous. Great. Danger is our life. We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're going to burn any tissue, do it to the new kid. You can't use Ray. Our mortgage is in his name. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No names, Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case. <laughs> Whatever the one is. Okay, I've turned the sound down a little too much. You may feel a little tingle. So the moment I get in, I'll put the sound up. We've perfected an extensive and rigorous training regimen that will teach you all your equipment's basic functions. It takes some time to achieve master throw skill, but it's definitely worth the effort. Was that us? I don't think so. Ray? Had to be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial, a significant collected and centralized necromatic convulsion level 7 or more. Agreed. We need EMF measurement checks now. I know the answer, but I'm going to ask anyway. Is a level 7 uh, whatever bad or very bad? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say... Let me guess. It's a 7. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. And that is not the fun kind of getting busy, is it, Rick? Look out! Slimer's escaped again! No, wait. Okay, we're just gonna quickly uh, change the settings in this nice little menu. There we go. Oh, where are the settings for this? There we go. Setting audio. Just get things a touch louder. And there we go. Back. 
back, back. Come back. There we go. That uh, should be alright. See? You can now pretty much just run around the firehouse and do stuff so you can, like, interact with the phone. You can take a look around all the iconic Ghostbusters stuff in their, uh, in their little room. Let's move. I'm not really sure what you can interact with in total, but you're essentially meant to follow them down the fire pole. So look, they've got Cubert, which I think you can actually play. Let's see. What? No, oh, okay, it's just playing like that. So down the fire pole. There we go. <clears throat> Slimer has broken out of his little. Uh, Tiny containment -y thing. And there you see, there's Vigo. Vigo. So now we've got to. Oh shit, follow the guys wherever the hell they went. Oh, I think there's the basement. Do, 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 do. Down we go. There, there they are. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. No, not the containment unit. That's some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Whoops. Oops. One out. That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the interspatial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. Hey, this will work out great since you're already strapped into a pack. It's a perfect opportunity for some training. Taking the right precautions, Slimer's harmless. Uh, more or less. Not sure about the other guy, though. Okay, let's go get him. See, and here's a nod to the extreme Ghostbusters. See, oh, by my side, there's a basic trap. Look there, there's the extreme Ghostbusters the circular trap. Egon will fix it in no time. So now we're just uh, following Ray. Oh, the controls are very sluggish. I can't even remember if they were meant to be this sluggish last time. Uh, ah, there we go. Sensitivity. Turn that. Up a couple of notches, there we go. Oh, still very sluggish, sorry about this guys. This is my first time actually playing this for a while. I'll do. Now, first there and go. foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your proton pack. It can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical condition. The more green that's on the bar, the more damage you can sustain and still stay on your feet. This bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you'll want to bend the pack and keep it from shorting out and resetting. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. We break it into three basic steps. Sap them, cap them, and trap them. The first step is blasting a ghost to sap its energy. Do it again! See that overlay on the ghost? It indicates the current accumulation of a ghost PKE. The more you disperse, the weaker it becomes. Pack's moving into the red, can I spend it? Or not? Later you can upgrade your pack so it doesn't need to venting as often and that kind of stuff. I just slam and stop dicking around behind those boxes, it'd be uh a whole lot easier. Come here you bitch. Come here you green ghostly bitch. There you are. Ooh, we lost Slimer. I'm gonna diddle those controls a little more because that is sluggish as knobs. There it is! Much better. Ugh. And I thought Slimer was disgusting. Boy, you get tabbed to be the spirit guide. This is a sloth ghost, so oh, must trap, of course. Gives you little things about weaknesses and all that kind of stuff, and some background on it, and uh, you know that kind of. Thing. So now we're going to trap the little bugger. So essentially, essentially, R to vent your thing is reloading like in any other gun. So but it takes fucking ages to trap them. All right, we've got it good and winded. Next stage, cap them. You can project a capture stream or wrangler manually using this control. On the other hand, the pack will detect when a ghost is sufficiently weakened and auto-select the capture stream setting. Get in there and 
throw a capture stream on that tub of goo. I can't even move, Jesus. Fantastic, you got it! As soon as your ghost is in your capture stream, the slam meter begins to slowly charge. If you want to accelerate the slam meter charge, you can wrangle or counter-wrangle the ghost at the end of the line. Here's how you do that. Watch the ghost. When he makes a dash in one direction, you pull the screen quickly in the other. Give it a shot! There you go! Perfect! They hate it when you throw the Oops. capture stream on them. If a ghost still has some serious fight in him, it's almost impossible to drag him into the trap. You've got to soften him up. Ow! That's brutal! We did run a background check on you, right? Now we can move to stage three. Crap it. You're gonna need some place to put that. There you go! Perfect! See the beat? When it goes back, you pull to the right. The trap draws down different ghosts at different rates. They all flush the same in the end. See, that took longer than it would any normal player, because I'm just bad. Did you get them? Ah, uh, we're batting 500. Slimer slipped out. Our cadet bagged his first one, though. A very nasty customer. Oh, and you've got to be very careful about crossing the streams. In a word, don't do it. Seriously. Things like the Dickens, too. Hey, how come this mump gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too? It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware that, if not handled correctly, could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. <laughs> Scooter, we need to go. Let's roll. It has the general Ghostbusters comedic flair, which is cool. It's the first place that little spud will go. Right. Back to its initial manifestation point. They've got a real good buffet. It is a great one. When Winston returns from the opera, extend an invitation to join us at our table at the Cedric. Hey, you. You're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. Try not to destroy too many Manhattan landmarks. That's our job. <laughs> I'm not talking that much at the moment because my voice is a little croaky. But, um, you know, essentially the game is all about bagging and tagging ghosts. And I can't remember if it follows any specific storyline. It's been a long time since I've played it. But it seems Slimer's more of an annoyance in this than he is a help. And uh, you've already done the Vigo bit, so it must be set after Ghostbusters 2. But in that case, wouldn't Slimer be a help? But, I don't know, for the cartoon, I couldn't really tell. That disgusting green blob is up on the 12th floor again, wreaking havoc. I demand a refund right now. Sir, if you check the fine print on our invoice... Invoices. <laughs> right, invoices. You'll see that your warranty on rehaunting expired some time ago. You should have taken the extended service agreement. Ah yes, definitely set after Ghostbusters 1 and 2, because an interesting PKE that's about Slime but re-haunting the hotel. To the 12th floor. I'd like the chance to look around the building a little more. Good. Dig up what you can. Well, that little greenie shouldn't cause us too much trouble. Oh yeah, I forgot you could knock things over and have to pay money. Well, hello. You're perfectly safe now, Miss. The Ghostbusters are here. Back off, loser. Never gonna happen. <laughs> That approach rarely works with me. I'll show you why later. All right, Ace. Get ready. Dr. Stance, if you'd do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venkman. Part of our settlement with the city. 
proton packs must remain off in heavily populated public areas. And in close quarters. It minimizes the city's liabilities and satisfies the restraining order the maid here had put on us. Where we live in today, you shoot a proton stream of highly charged particles at someone, they get all so happy. It's him! <laughs> uh, nice. Now we got another plaintiff. See, if I knock this off, I think I have to get charged. Whoop. Yep, Shooting there we go. Little early, but not the first time. <laughs> Whoops. You'll get your shot. Oh, that's not good. That looked painful. Are you okay? No, I hit him in the face. That yeah, way. Fuck thinking. So I just follow him and, uh... Watch it! Oh. Contact! Whoops. Alright, showtime. We wear him out. Then we capture him. That's what your proton stream is for. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on, slime ball. Oh, through the wall. Nah, I've seen this one already. Bounce. You know how it ends. Ugh. You two have fun, though. I'll call the elevators and escort any ladies safely to their rooms. Yeah, okay. And this signal looks just like your elusive little targeted entity. Your meter will flash and buzz when it detects a potential signal. The paragoggles are linked directly to your active PKE meter. This lets you see otherwise undetectable phenomena while you track it. Ghost trails, object auras, all kinds of cool events. Oh, tell me sooner. Now when the center bar peaks, you're headed in the right direction. When it's flat, hey. you're following a cool trail. Yeah, man. Line the target up with the smallest circle for the best scan. Okay, you got it. Now just take a scan. Way to go! We check the spirit guide. Secretion. Okay. Nice. Red signifies a hidden ghost. Green indicates an environmental paranormal anomaly. Blue means an active sample. Following it along here, like a scanner. Warmer. I guess it's just the end of the room. Oh. You're red hot. Getting a good scan is sort of like taking a good snapshot. When you've got an entity in range, hold the scan button. Careful. Oh, yeah, we got. And I can purchase an upgrade. There we go. See. Because we've got money, we can buy focus and stream upgrades and so all that kind of stuff. It tells you how much it costs underneath. That one, I have just enough. Reduces beam wandering. Yes, please. I'll have that. Thanks. So now I... Uh, I assume I've got to go back down the other way. But I'm going to check this way. See if there's any secret stuff. You know, I can't remember if there was or not. I don't think there is going to be any secret stuff. Oh, 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 what's this? What's that? I don't know, I'll keep running. He's definitely been here. Oh, uh, meh. Right in front of my face. This sample is something you can collect, like a cursed artifact. We get paid extra for everything we scan and collect. Sweet. Then we move back into research and development. The extra funds let us experiment with new equipment and offensive technologies, which in turn you get to wear on your back to test. Remember, you can always review techniques, tutorials, and equipment in your online Ghostbusters field manual. It's all accessible from your PKE meter. 
Got it, Ray. Peter, come in. You okay? Uh-oh, man down. We've got a man down. Go, go, go! Come on, shake a leg. You can move faster than that, can't you? Double time, cadet! Oh. He's been slimed! Again! Hustle over here and help him up, will you? How did this even happen? I was covering the elevators. The mutant's trombone snuck up on me. God, funk the fire again. When one of us goes down, we always help each other out. It's all about teamwork. Oh, no, my friend. That was back in the pre sliming era. Right now, it's all about payback. You guys need to get down here immediately. Our living science experiment is tearing apart the lobby, and he's not alone. More ghosts? But we gave this hotel a clean bill of health five years ago. New people die every day. Call the elevator, Junior. I called it. Come on. There we go. Get in. Oh, I didn't like that. All right, Slimer. You've had your fun. The elevator's off limits. Egon, come in. I think we're stuck in the elevator. We need some help. Think we're stuck. Well, let's see. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Ray, you guys uh, good with officially stuck in the elevators? Show of hands. Here it comes. Kill it, Ray! Need a hand? You always fail me. Go of the trap, and in we go. One down. Get this guy of the trap. Oh, uh -huh. there we go. And the convulsive PK shockwave really stirred the nest. Man, this lobby is so wrecked. Can we please call Winston and tell him his night off is officially ended? <laughs> Oh, and that's a cursed eye fact. More of them. Oh, there's more ghosts. I knew it. I knew it. Others are floating back upstairs. Bankman, you two pull our friend Slimer into a trap as fast as you can. There's a massive bulge in these spikes indicating this isn't just some routine clearing job. He gets so bossy when he has an antis map. Let's quickly Maybe. take a look is for that anything that's out of the ordinary. Don't think there is. Move it, asshole! I can't remember where I'm meant to go. Is a good move. Durr, straight into the wall. Bustin makes me feel good, apparently, as the song goes. I think they shot back down here, didn't they?
I admit, I wasn't paying attention. There, the Alhambra ballroom. No way he could pass that up. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez bar mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'll bet the beef brisket is today's special. And you've done quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. I, I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. That's all we needed to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. Sounds like the Alhambra's off limits. Oh, my lovely hotel. I just had to turn my uh, Steam to private there so we can get, get, get messages. But I missed the story the bit, so I can't know what I'm doing. Oh, Guess I'll just follow Peter. Part 1's gonna end pretty shortly, maybe 5 10 minutes. A lot of this was just video introduction to the, get the actual game, you bring so your apron? sorry about that. Take a through the Second and third ones will be more of this, more actual the in game right stuff. Here. Hello, chef. Okay, champion, you leave for a while. Don't touch the slime. It's slimy and it's extremely dangerous. Black slime. Yep, I think you can kill the black slime. Not sure. We shall find out. Nope, I don't think we touch it. Oh, hey. Blocking our way, eh? Okay, I dare ya. Everything but the kitchen sink. Purchase an upgrade, because, uh, why not? P gave me a scan improvement. Yup. This is why I eat out of the Alright, check this out. To grab them, you've got to grab them, and to grab them, you use the other half of the proton one to capture them. Oh, capture it, stream. Junk anywhere. We don't stick around and clean up. Win. We're gonna go fucking table. What we're gonna do is just go around checking for extra stuff. I can never remember if there is or not with half of this. I don't think there is. I'm probably being pretty retarded. Yeah, I'm a bit retarded. So let's just go back. 
Running's fucking shitty in this game. You know, I thought that guy said Rodriguez Parmesan. <laughs> Remember this from the first game? Uh, game? First movie? Yeah, sure you do. Would it kill him to mix in a green salad once in a while? I'm gonna take back up. Blast him until he's dazed, and then throw your capture stream on him. Said a quick peeky. What do you want me to do? Check the table. Good, good. That's it, buddy. You got the little monster breathing hard. around a bit to make him tired and then you gotta direct him towards the trap and as I'm pulling down on the mouse here to get the bastard in there you go yeah, perfect see that's a big wow I'll teach that pitiful goop sack to slide beaming and by extension you ah the cake destroyed a lot of my money perhaps a place sitting disturbed still pretty much ready Full go for the Rodriguez blah. The Alhambra Ballroom. The Bar Mitzvah. What have you done? The guests are arriving in 15 minutes. What seems to be your problem? Thanks to me and my new exclusively assigned recruit here, the festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So, you're welcome, huh? And, uh, to the Rodriguez? Allah from the Ghostbusters. And we're going to leave it there for now. Uh, I'll try and get another video oh, ready soon. Oh, shouldn't have done that. But yeah, we'll leave that here while just destroying a few more tables and losing them on money. Just to, just to see. Just can't kill dudes with it, but you know. What's a nuclear charge backpack for? I'll catch you guys in the next video.